Dante Alighieri, born in 1265, Florence, Italy. Politician who put his life on the line to bring us a better society. Father of the Italian language. A soul illuminated by God. In the middle road of our life, I refound myself in a dark wood where the straightway was lost. It is hard to speak of how wild, harsh, and impenetrable that wood was, so thinking of it recreates the fear. At the beginning of the slope, a light, swift lynx with spotted coat obstructed my way and refused to back away from me, as many times as I tried to return. <coughs> then I could not avoid the fear when I saw a lion, which seemed to come towards me, with his head raised and furious with hunger, so that the air itself was afraid of him. After that, a she-wolf appeared that looked full of craving in its leanness, brought me such heaviness of fear from the aspect of her face that I lost all hope of ascending the slope. While I was returning to the depths, someone appeared in front of me. Have pity on me, whoever you are, whether a man in truth or a soul. Not a man, although I was a man once. But you, why do you turn back to this misery? Are you then Virgil? The fountain of knowledge, who has a great speech in your writings? I was among those in limbo, and a lady called to me. She began to speak gently, quietly, in an angelic voice. O oh, courteous Mantuan spirit, whose fame continues in the world and will continue for as long as the world exists, my friend, who is no friend of fortune, is so obstructed on his way upon the desert slope that he turns back in terror. And from what I heard of him in heaven, I fear he is already so far lost, but I've started too late to help him. Now go, and help him with your eloquence, whatever else is needed for his safety, that I may be consoled. I am Beatrice, who asks you to go. I come from a place I long to return to. Love moved me to make me speak. When I am before my Lord, I will often praise you to him. I am not afraid to enter here. We should fear only those things that have the power to hurt others, nothing else. I am made such by God's grace that your suffering does not touch me, nor does the fire of this place scorch me. Your faithful one is now in need of you, and I commend him to your care. You are my master and my author. You are alone the one from whom I learned the high style that has brought me honor as a poet. I beg you by the God you did not acknowledge, lead me where you said so that I might escape this evil or worse. Words of sadness, accents of anger, voices deep and hoarse in that eternal stained air. The nine circles of hell, limbo, lust, gluttony, agony. 
avarice, wrath, heresy, violence, fraud, treason. They have no hope of death, and their darkened life is so mean that they are envious of every other fate. Karen, do not vex yourself. It is willed there, where what is willed is done. From the bearded mouth of the ferryman of the livid marsh, who had wheels of flame round his eyes, was stilled. Charon the demon, with eyes of burning coal, gets all aboard and strikes with his oar whoever lingers. So they depart on the dark water, and before they have landed on the other side, a new crowd has gathered in this shore from every country. First circle, Limbo, the pagans. They are quick to cross the river to get divine justice. Here reside the unbaptized and the virtuous pagans, those who are not sinful, yet were born before Christ. The souls here are not punished, but rather grieve only their separation from God, without hope of reconciliation until the second coming of Christ. This is Virgil's home in hell. I want you to know, before you go further, that they did not sin. Do not ask to know who these souls are. Hector, Aeneas, Caesar, and Aristotle among the company of philosophers. Though they have merit, that is not enough, because they were not baptized, and baptism is to show faith. Since they lived before Christianity, they did not worship God correctly, and I myself am one of them. There was no lamentation other than the sighs that kept the air trembling forever. So I descended from the first circle down into the second, which encloses a smaller space, but greater pain to lament. There Minos stands, grinning horribly, examines the crimes of arriving sinners, judges, and sends the guilty down as he uncoils himself. Second circle, the lustful. Those overcome by lust are punished in this circle. They are the first ones to be truly punished in hell. These souls are blown about to and fro by a violent storm without hope of rest. This symbolizes the power of lust to blow one about needlessly and aimlessly. So once they are closer to us, you can beg them by the love that leads them, and they will come. As soon as the wind had brought them to us, I raised my voice. Oh, weary souls, come speak with us if it is permitted. Love, that allows no loved one to be excused from loving, seized me so fiercely with desire for him, it still will not leave me, as you can see. Love led us to one death. Francesca, your torment makes me weep with grief and pity, and I fell down as a dead body falls. There is no greater pain than to remember happy times in misery. Third circle, the gluttons. Here the gluttons lie like pigs in the mud under continual cold rain and hail. We went down to the third circle of eternal heavy rain, cursed, cold, and dull. Large hail, filthy water pours down to the gloomy air. Remember your science that says that the more perfect a thing is, the more it feels pleasure and pain. Although these cursed people will never achieve true perfection, they will be closer to it than before. It makes putrid the ground that receives it. There Serbius, the fierce and strange beast, barks from three throats like a dog over the people underneath in the mud. Fourth circle, here reside the avaricious, who hoarded richness, and the prodigal, who squandered them. 
Each group pushed great weights of gold for eternity. We made our way to the fourth circle, descending the dismal slope that encloses every evil of the universe. Oh, divine justice! Who can tell the many new pains and strange punishment that I saw there? I found more people there than elsewhere, on the one side and on the other, rolling weights by pushing with their chests with loud howling. They struck against each other, shouting, Why do you hold? Why do you throw away? They were so twisted in mind in their first life that they did not balance their expenses. These were priests who had no hair on their heads, and popes and cardinals in whom avarice achieves its excess. Fifth Circle, the Wrathful. In the swamp-like water of the River Styx reside the Wrathful, who fight each other on the surface. They are immersed in mud, striking one another with hands, feet, and head, and biting each other. Son, see the souls of those overcome by anger. And I also want you to know that there are souls under the water, whose sighs with bubbles agitate the water's surface to make it move and turn around. My guide got on board the boat, and then made me get on after him. And the boat only sank in the water after I was in. Phlegis, in his growing anger, was like someone who listens to something wrong done to him and then filled with resentment. Now, my son, we approach the city named Dis, with its grave citizens and a vast crowd. See the fierce furies. That is Majira on the left. Alecto is crying on the right. The one in the middle is Tisiphone. They were tearing at their breasts with their claws, beating with their hands and crying out so loud that in fear I grabbed the boy. Let Medusa come so we turn into stone! We did not pull to be anything! Faces is attack! Turn your back and keep your eyes closed. Then Virgil uncovered my eyes. Its walls seemed to me as if they were made of iron. The entrance of Dis are guarded by black demons who deny Dante and Virgil their passage through the city's gate. I saw more than a thousand black demons who screamed angrily. Who is this that is not dead? The ghost of the kingdom of the dead. Have no fear, since no one can deny us passage, since it was granted to us. Though I am angered, do not you be dismayed. I will overcome any obstacle they try to keep us out. Their insolence is not new. They tried once before. I knew he was a messenger from heaven, so I turned to my master, who signaled that I keep quiet and bow to him. How full of indignation he seemed to be. He reached the gate and opened it, and with a wand without resistance. So we entered this without any Lower Hell, Violence and Fraud. The lower parts of Hell are contained within the walls of the city of Dis. Punished within Dis are active rather than passive sins. Sixth Circle. Here reside the heretics who are trapped in flaming tombs for eternity. I then looked around as soon as I was inside, eager to know what punishment the place enclosed, and saw on all sides a vast plain full of pain vile torment and despair. Flames were scattered amongst the tombs which were vibrant red all over and hotter than metal. Here are the Ark heretics with their followers of every sect. So the tombs contain far more than you might think. Here, like is buried with like, and the tombs differ in degrees of heat. A minotaur, half-human, half-bull, infernal beast, is the guardian for the sinners of the Seventh Circle. When the minotaur saw Dante and Virgil, he gnawed himself like someone consumed by anger within. Go away, beast. This man does not come here aided by your sister, but passes through to see the punishments. The 
seventh circle, the outer ring. Here reside the tyrants and murderers. Aaron took an arrow and pushed back his beard from his face. Then he said to his companions, Have you noticed that the one behind moves whatever he touches? He is truly alive and alone. I have to show him the Dark Valley. Necessity brings him here and not desire. Lend us one of your centaurs that we can follow, who will take us to the ford and carry this man over on his back, since he cannot fly as a spirit through the air. There I saw people immerse as far as the eyebrows, and the great centaur said, These are the tyrants who indulge in blood and plunder. Here they lament their mates and his crimes. Here is Alexander, and the cruel Dionysus. The Greek who gave Sicily years of pain. Then I saw the others, who held their heads and all their chests above the river. And of these I recognized a few. So the blood grew shallow and shallower, until it only cut their feet, making the ford through the chasm. Seventh circle, the middle ring. Here reside the violence against themselves, the suicides. The sinners here are a hybrid of humans and twisted trees. They are tortured by the harpies, who tear their branches and trunks to make them bleed and suffer. In the forest, the disgusting harpies make their nests and make mournful screams. They have broad wings and human necks and faces, clawed feet and large feathered bellies. <laughs> 